Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Keystone Montana High Country 353RL. This particular model we're going to go over is in the Dresden interior. As you can see, it's a very wide open floor plan because you have two very large dual opposing slides here, giving you a very spacious living area as well as a center island here in the kitchen. If you take a quick look at the ceiling, you'll notice a lot of extra amenities up here too. You have a large max air fan right there with a rain sensor, which creates a nice cross breeze if you don't want to run the AC and also uh, helps quickly eliminate smells from the kitchen area. Right next to that, you will see the large skylight that does have a shade on there in case you want to close it off. When it's open though, it does let in a lot of natural light. It's also located directly above the island. And then you have your LED lights for nighttime. You also have a ceiling fan right here, again, to help recirculate the air. And in the back, you will notice you don't have your standard white AC unit. Instead, on the sides, you have two air intakes. That's because as a standard, Montana High Country has a quiet, cool AC back here, which is about 30 to 35% quieter than your standard AC. What that means to you, you don't have to yell to each other to have a conversation. You can watch the TV without turning it way, way up. That is a big benefit to have. Let's take a look at the slide right over here. In this slide, you have your freestanding table and chairs. This is what you'd expect in a higher end couples coach rather than your standard dinette. Uh, this does have a leaf in here. In case you have additional guests, you can pop that leaf out, giving you a little more room. And all four chairs also have storage here underneath the seat. For your window shades, you have slow rise roller shades all the way around. I really like roller shades. They've had them in motorhomes for years. They just started bringing them into fifth wheels about the last year or two, and they really make a big difference. They don't bend on you, they don't break, they're easy to use, and they've gone with this nice beige style color here rather than the dark black. That makes it really light and airy when they're shut here in the coach. Um, right here's your theater seating. This will be the most comfortable seat in the house, the best seat in the house directly across from the TV. This is where you'll kick back, relax, have a cocktail or two. Both of these are recliners. You'll also notice you have a cup holder or two cup holders rather here in the center and then your armrest lifts up for a small compartment for remotes as well. There is an electrical outlet in between the uh, table and the theater seating there, so if you have to plug in a laptop or tablet, something like that, you can do that from either location. Uh, one other thing of note, you see all these windows in here, you have a ton of windows, right? Let's in a lot of natural light, but more importantly, every window in this Montana high country opens. That's another big deal. These side windows right here open up. You don't always get that when you're looking at fifth wheels. You may have a window for light, but they don't open. You want a cross breeze? This one will take care of you. Right in the back is a very large trifold sofa. Uh, the, if you're not familiar with the trifold sofa, this is the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. The reason is because it uses the actual cushions uh, of the sofa itself for your bed. You can see how nice and thick this is back here. That is what your guests get to sleep on. It's not like your traditional pullout where it's, you know, mattress is this thin and they have a big bar on your back. It's not an air mattress that's gonna deflate on you. This will make for a comfortable night's sleep. And obviously it is comfortable to sit on here as well. Again, as you can see, big windows all the way around. You do have end tables on both sides and there's electrical outlets on either side of the couch too. Again, for those electronics that need to be plugged in. Uh, the rear picture window here, by the way, is awesome if you have a beautiful view out the back. Across the top, you see the nice frosted glass, good additional storage all the way through there. LED lights on the bottom. Uh, you have LED lights throughout the whole coach, as you would expect. And they're great because they don't put out near the heat, use a fraction of the power. But right over here is your entertainment center. Uh, you have your 40 inch TV, as I mentioned, that is directly across from the theater seating there. So you have a great viewing angle. It's not gonna hurt your neck. Right underneath is your sound bar for superior sound quality. This unit uh, also controls the speakers outside. So uh, different speaker zones, you can choose which ones you ha uh, want to have on. And that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you wanna control it from out there, you can certainly do that. Right underneath is your fireplace. Not only does this look really cool, but this basically is a big space heater. 
The thing I like about a fireplace, you know, if you've never had one before, you may think it's overkill, but I'm telling you, once you use it, you will love it. Because on those days where it just starts to, you know, get kind of chilly at night, you, you normally want to bundle up in a blanket and sweatshirt, but you don't want to turn on your propane heat, turn on the fireplace. This will do a good job of taking the chill off in this space. And if you're not at a seasonal, you're not paying for electric, that is free heat. Additional storage up top here, I'll open that up for you. DVD player is up here, that is already wired to the TV, so if you want to watch a movie, uh, you can pop it in right there. Big storage up here, by the way. That's something you don't get very often in entertainment centers. Moving into the kitchen area, beautiful pantry. Again, you have the frosted glass here, gives it a really nice look. Uh, has the light built in, so if you're getting in here at night, you can still see what you're getting into. And uh, the other thing I like is that they didn't bring these shelves all the way forward. So if you want to stick like a broom or something in here, you still have a space in which you can do that. And moving into the rest of the kitchen, let's take a quick look at the center island. This is a huge center island. It's perfect uh, for all of your prep space. You see you have good space on either side of the sink. And they also provided you with two sink top covers. Solid surface countertops, again, as you would expect in a high-end fifth wheel. When we take the uh, sink top covers off, that will reveal your double bowl stainless steel undermount sink there. And then you also have a pull-out faucet, which makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. It is worth noting, this is a residential faucet. It's not like you normally get in an RV, very well built. You'll see you have electrical outlets in the front of the island there, so if you need a place to plug things in, whether it's a blender, toaster, you know, electric griddle, whatever it may be, you have places to do that. Let's take a look at some of the storage right in front of the island here. On either side, you have a couple of drawers up top. When you go down below, this one is really cool. This has a trash can already built in. No longer do you have to worry about, you know, where am I gonna put my trash can? Because there it is, they already thought about it for you. The other side here has three more full extension ball bearing drawers. As we open this up here underneath the sink, you see you have plenty of room for all your cleaning supplies. You also have this little guy right here, this little half wall. What that's for is when you take the sink top covers off, you can slide them right in between that and the side of the island there. Uh, and that way you have a place to store them, which is, which is great. It's a simple solution for a problem that a lot of people had. Right across the way here, uh, again, more prep space. You see you have big countertop space on either side. That way you have spots you know, for your hot pads or your uh, spoons, whatever it may be while you're cooking. Electrical outlets on both sides, so if you want to dedicate a coffee maker to one side or the other, you can certainly do that. Three burner uh, Atwood cooktop. You'll see it is recessed here with the glass top, so again, you have all that as prep space. And underneath you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. Just in case the four drawers in the island weren't enough, or five rather with the single one, you get four more additional drawers right along here. So two very large banks of drawers right across from each other. Underneath the oven, you have an additional drawer there. And over to this side here, you see nice big storage area. Great for any other foodstuffs you don't want to put in the pantry. Or maybe if you have some bigger like mixing bowls, things like that, it's a good spot for it too. Pots and pans right in there. Both sides here, uh, you know, again, additional storage, but spices, your cooking sprays, whatever. Some more storage there above the microwave. Speaking of the microwave, let's take a quick look. Stainless steel, it's a huge microwave. 30 inch microwave there, you know, very similar to size to probably what you have at home. Uh, so I do like that. Weight of the unit is on here, 11,130 pounds is what she weighs. Let's take a look at the refrigerator. Samsung residential stainless steel refrigerator. This thing is massive. If you're like, hey, I have something that looks just like that at home, it very well could be the same model because this is a residential refrigerator. You see uh, you have the little crispers on either side. You can set the humidity there, which is great. Plenty of space in the fridge itself. Then you also have the pull-out freezer right here, and it does have an ice maker built in too. So that way, you know, you don't have to buy bags of ice for your cocktails, for your pop, whatever it may be. This guy will make it for you. Right over here is a hutch. This kind of rounds out your uh, kitchen space. Again, good storage. You'll see you have storage all the way through here. You know, for whatever you want to put in there. Uh, if you want to put some wine glasses and stuff in here, it might not be a bad idea, seeing as how you have this nice wine rack right underneath. 
Also, they, uh, the doors, they do a little bit differently, which I like, helps break it up. You'll see the frosted glass here in the center and then your uh, you know, solid doors on the ends. Two electrical outlets there as well. You have this nice solid surface countertop. You know, most manufacturers would have put a wood top here, but not high country. They went with solid surface to help everything blend in, even though it is a little more money. Your thermostat right here. And then underneath that, this is for your Max Air uh, fan that I had showed you. If you take a quick look underneath, you have additional storage here. Open this one up, so storage all throughout, and then two nice full extension ball bearing drawers. Lastly, I want to take a note, you do have uh, some auxiliary lighting right up top. You can turn that off if you don't want it up there, but I think it's just some cool extra feature. So you take a look at the bathroom, you'll see right here is your porcelain foot flush lever toilet, making it very easy to clean. Over to the side, you have a nice large linen closet, so you have plenty of space for towels and everything else you need to put in the bathroom. The shower of the 353 is a one-piece residential style shower. That way you don't have any seams, you don't have any leaks. Try slide glass door, a seat belt in to make, or built in rather, to make it easy to shave your legs. Hand wand there, shelves as well. Now if you take a look up top, you will see you have a big skylight here, which only lets in a lot of natural light, but also gives you additional headroom. Right over here, you also see the uh, vent fan, so you can quickly have moisture escape. And then over to this side is your mirrored medicine cabinet. There is additional storage behind that, right underneath sink top and vanity. Now that we've seen the beautiful inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features. We'll start right up front here with your fully painted front cap. You'll see how it does cut back on both sides to allow for a greater turn radius. Right here in the center is a mirror with an LED light, so that way as you're backing up to hook up, you can make sure you're aligning your hitch with the kingpin. So we take a look at the front storage compartment, you'll see that it is nice and clean up here. They have great cable management, they don't have stuff just thrown all over the place. And if you do want a generator, this is where the generator would go. You also have a secondary door right over here, that is where your battery is located. Uh, I'll open this up for you so you can take a quick look. And again, as I said, everything is run uh, just the way it should. Right up here you have a battery disconnect. That battery disconnect is solely for your refrigerator. Uh, the, battery, the disconnect for the entire coach is on the off door side. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, but that one, as I mentioned, is for that residential refrigerator there. And the inverter that's inside, again, I'll show you that too. Right over here is one of your two 30 pound propane tanks. You have one on each side. The other side looks almost identical to this one. Right underneath here is your auto level system. Well, one of the jacks of your auto level system anyway. Uh, that's great, you know, you wanna talk about making something easy. If you've never used auto level, you have to get it. It is so simple. You touch a button, the coach does the rest. You can sit back, enjoy a cocktail while it does all the work. Huge pass-through storage. We'll start with the massive door on here. This thing's got some weight to it, which is nice. You'll see the, uh, the covered hinge here, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down. It's magnetic, so that way you can put it all the way up. You know, they, they have things, space, uh, spots here for struts if you want struts, but personally, I like being able to get it up and out of the way. That way you can use all this as camp space. And take a look at the size of the pass-through. It is absolutely massive. The reason for that is because Montana utilizes what they call drop frame construction. If you take a look underneath here with me, uh, you can see kind of how this uh, I-beam right here stops short, and then there's another I-beam that goes the rest of the way back. So they bring the I-beam here, they drop down with the smaller one, run that the rest of the way. It's extremely strong, and it gives you, again, that huge pass-through. While we're down there, you'll also notice right here, this is the uh, fully enclosed and it, underbelly that is heated, by the way, too. Just to show you, you know, that that's there. You don't have a bunch of stuff getting all over in the underbelly of your RV. TV hookups if you want TV. And there's also a light hanging out right there. Right outside your pass-through, you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in, it's nice and convenient to get at. Let's take a quick look up top. You'll see the large power awning. Just touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. LED light strip there underneath that, so you don't have to get up and hang up all your Christmas lights. 
The windows are frameless windows on here. Uh, that's really nice too. Not only do they look a lot better, but also the seals are tucked behind this glass and the outside, you know, about inch, inch and a half here is painted. That way it fully protects those seals from the UV. Well, I shouldn't say fully, but it does a really good job of protecting it. Uh, the other nice thing about it is because of the action, the way it opens, that means you can leave these windows open while it's raining so you can still have a nice breeze coming through without getting all the rain in. I'll go ahead and close this door down. You will also notice these are slam latch and they work. It's metal components they have in here, they work like a charm. Getting into the 353 is quite simple. You have four steps here. Again, as you'd expect on a high-end coach, it sits high off the ground. A lot of manufacturers in this class only give you three steps, which I think is ridiculous. As you get older, your knees get worse. You need that nice first small step to get in and out. Then you also have the foldable grab handle here. That way, from the first step all the way in, you have excellent control. If you take a look at the uh, wheels here underneath, you will see they are aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do those look really nice, but they also won't rust and help prevent corrosion. Right in the center, you see that little uh, blue guy there? It's a CRE 3000 system by Moride. That's your suspension, which allows for three inches of travel. That really helps take a lot of the bumps out of the road while you're towing. Right back here is the BAL spare tire carrier. Rather than having to crawl completely underneath, as long as your slide is in, you can easily reach those handles, pull it out, drop it down, so it's quick access to the spare. The back of the 353 has an attached ladder here. That way you can easily climb up onto the fully walkable roof. And I do recommend getting up there a couple times a year on any RV just for basic inspection. Right there is that large rear picture window I showed you. You'll notice that both of these do open up. Right above that, you will notice the uh, backup camera prep. So this is a pretty good size fifth wheel. If you want a backup camera on there, that makes it a lot less expensive to have it installed. And then here is your tailgate storage system. I really like this for a couple different reasons. One, it's extremely usable. You can put bikes on here, you can put totes on here, firewood. When you get to your campsite, you can drop this down, you can use it as a table, whatever you wanna do. So it is a very useful thing to have. The other reason I really like it, it comes from the manufacturer. A lot of people don't know this, but if you attach something to your bumper, a lot of manufacturers will void the warranty on your entire RV. So by having it come from the manufacturer, you know you're safe. Uh, so definitely a big addition to have that. On the off-door side of the pass-through, you'll notice this one does have struts, but it's for a good reason. You have your slide right out here, so you can't fold the whole thing up. But let's head on in. So right here is the convenience center. I really like what Montana's done here as well because they make it exactly that. It is very convenient to get to everything. You'll see you have your outside shower with hot and cold access, you have a light in here, your water connections, everything for winterization, cable hookups, and the battery disconnect to the main part of the coach. Everything is located right there. The other things I wanna to touch on while we're in here real quick, one is this. This is your pure sine wave inverter. That is what operates your, uh, ref your residential refrigerator inside. It does run only off electric, but this will ensure that it stays nice and cool while you're going down the road. Right over here is your auto level system. As I've said, just push that auto level button. It does the rest, makes things very simple for you. Folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Montana High Country 353RL. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.